The Animals Roadshow goes to Scotland in 25 minutes. First on one, you're invited to a wedding with The Clothes Show. The big day's arrived at last for Nia Parry, our Bride of the Year from Wales. Today she marries Scotsman William Oliver after a romance which survived the difficulties of long-distance courtship and a crisis last year when William was horrifically injured in an accident from which many thought he was unlikely to survive. Happily, though, he made a miraculous recovery and today here at the Salem Chapel at Port Maddock in Wales, William and Nia will become Mr and Mrs Oliver. And like all weddings, it was an early start, particularly at the bride's house. It's seven o'clock in the morning and we're at Nia's family home just outside Carnarvon with the pit crow. Karen Collett from Catherine Walker's Chelsea Design Company is here to give the dress the final once over. Trevor Solby will be doing the hair. Teresa Fairminer, who did the Duchess of York's wedding day makeup, is here. And Jane Packer, who's preparing the flowers, has been up since 4.30 this morning and will be here any moment. All for Nia's big day. What's really important is that you um, you feel when I actually come to put the hair up that it's very very secure because you've got this has got to last all day. Yes. And the security of this hairstyle, in the way of it feeling that it's not going to fall down, is, is vital to yes. you. Yes. Mm. Will it come down tomorrow morning? <laughs> Probably not. That's a name. <laughs> Nia's got five bridesmaids and two page boys. One of them, you and her brother, is not even out of bed yet. Hey, Ewan. It's time to get up, mate. The wedding's over. <laughs> You're ready to be a page, yeah? Yeah? What are you going to have to do? Walk down there with my mum. Really? Are you excited? No. Come on, let's get out of bed and get ready. You had much problems keeping the museum tight. Yes, I have. Have you? There's more plasters on the Have you? The worst thing you can do um, with your makeup for a bride is to get the colour wrong because once you're wearing white or a pale colour, the mistakes show up even more. Yeah. Put the pale one on for your eyes first so that we can keep the correct colour eyeshadow. If I applied it straight to your skin, it wouldn't come out the right colour, so... Black. So what, a black straw or something? Yes. Yeah. I think this is lovely. Yes. Yeah, that's... It's, a nice, it's such a nice day, isn't it? <coughs> um, yeah, that's... Yeah. The yellow suit may have looked a bit heavy today as the sun's shining. Listen, you're the man, of course, charged with the task of marrying the couple. Are you nervous? Because I'm sure that they're getting nervous right now. Well, I'm sure I don't have to tell you <laughs> that there are a few butterflies and I hope they'll go away before the service. <laughs> you're so used to marrying all these people. Why are you nervous? I saw something to do with the clothes show. I wonder what, but there we are. <laughs> well, you look absolutely superb. Your, your suit is made of linen, isn't it? Well, quite honestly, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> You haven't got a dog collar, you don't have any of the robes that I would not naturally no, assume you would wear, right. why not? Well, um, we are nonconformist, and of course we are um, ministers of the Lord Jesus Christ, and it is nice to be recognised as plain Dewey. 
you were late. You were late by about, what, quarter of an hour? What were you oh, doing? Oh, no, I wasn't actually late a quarter of an hour. I was supposed to be quarter past. And um, it is now? now only half 25 past. past. Oh, no, it's half past. <laughs> a quarter of an hour This late. is Welsh time. Oh, <laughs> All these people here, have you had as many people to a wedding before, do you think? Oh, you? it's quite popular here, Salem, actually, as you appreciate. It's right in the high streets, and there's a wonderful support here in Port Maddock at all times. Trace, just yes. a second. I just test yes. these rollers to see if they're... Cool enough, I'm not yeah. going to be much longer right. now. Anyway. I'm just going to take this one out because that will be more than ready. That's it. Fine. So I put the lipstick on <laughs> and then I'll blot it. And then I'll, when you've finished, I'll come back and just check that everything's all right. I think the wide belt is much better than the narrow belt that this dress oh. came with. And let's have a go with the hat. I actually think this dress is much better than that suit that you were going to wear, which is a bit sort of rigid, and it's such a lovely day out. I think this is going to be much better. Let's have a look. I think, that, I think that looks very mother of the bride. <laughs> In we go. <laughs> Why do you take the vest off? Oh, no, that must be Tristan. Oh. Right. Um, it's a thing on my sock. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Oh. Your eyes are looking really blue now. Oh, They're looking wonderful. Mm -hmm. We put some white inside, and I think uh, William could do with some of that after his stag that night. Person, and that's just uh, made them. Go very white and blue. It's better than the top hat. Don't you dare! Don't, don't you dare! It's been cut specially. It's been, it's been bent specially up like this. Is that handy? Can I just have a check on that? That's... Problems? No, no, I, I'm just looking just to make sure how much of the front is going to be left out and, and how much is going to be concealed. Okay, I've got it. Well, look who I found. The groom himself, William's turned up. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again. It's good to see you too, and you're looking really good. Right. Looking good yourself. <laughs> Thank you. I match you, actually. I'm red and black, and I chose it specially. Oh, it's good colours, though. Good colours. What do you feel like? Oh, well, like alert. Do you? Yes. Really confident? Oh, well, trying to be, anyway. <laughs> Are you nervous? Let's look at your hand. Is it shaking? No, no bad. You're George. Yes, I'm George. Yeah. What do you feel like today? I feel OK. I'm just trying to convince this man not to do it. <laughs> keep his freedom, keep his freedom. It's going to be the best day of his life, Liz. Hey, ah, well, so to say, I, case, as long as he does everything he's told and gives her all her money, well. <laughs> now, did you get up early this morning? No, no, that early. About eight. <laughs> so you're not a bit nervous? You no, know, no. Really, no, I really seal it, seal it. through this. <laughs> now, listen, we've got a very special surprise for you. Oh, this is when I'm shaking. <laughs> We've brought along some pipers from the Welsh Piping Society. Yeah. And they're going to play especially for you a Highland Laddie. <laughs> Still not right. So it's a good job I've got a bit of help here, Rick. <laughs> yes, you need a sort of personal butler all the time, don't you? And we've got a clip here. Yes, I had that on my birthday yesterday from, Did you? Uh, from Fia, my daughter Fia, yes. She knew I need, needed one today. <laughs> now, let's... Uh... How's that feel? Yeah, fine. That's 
Let's have a look. I wouldn't know how to do that either. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to please, sir. There we are, thank you. <laughs> how are you feeling there? We should have left by now. <laughs> um, excited. My stomach's getting tight. <laughs> is it? Yeah. What, you're really feeling nervous now? Yeah. What are you nervous about? I mean, is it the actual wedding now, or is it sort of all of this fussing around? Um, I'm used to the fussing around now. It's the actual wedding and getting the... It's actually happening, happening now after all these months. How does it feel, the sort of the hair and the makeup and? Oh, brilliant! I can't yeah. believe it's me. <laughs> do you actually Real feel transform. special now? Oh, I do. I've been pampered, I've been spoilt. It's uh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually, you see this longer trail there? Yeah. So that sort of comes further down the back. Oh, so that's... So it's like that. that way. Yes, that sort of comes down that way. Oh, I see. Okay. Any of these, because they're wide, you can just pull them out. Oh, I see. Like that. Push the... The grip in. The grip over, then. the hair grip over, and then just push the flower okay. into place. <laughs> So Nia and her dad set off for the wedding, but we've a few extra surprises in store to make this day a bit special. They're travelling by road at the moment, but there's only one way to arrive in Port Maddock, and that's by train. It's particularly appropriate that Nia should travel the last few miles of her journey on the railway, which until recently has been part of her beat. She'd served as a WPC in the North Wales Police Force at Blynar Festiniog at the top end of the Festiniog railway line. And it's from Minforth that she now sets off for the station at the other end of the line, Port Maddock.
now she's in Port Maddock, we've another surprise or two in store for Nia to add to her special day. Her very own Landau and horses to take her to the chapel, accompanied by the pipes and drums of the Welsh Piping Society. I call, I call upon these persons, upon these persons here present, here present to witness, to witness that I, Nia Glyn Parry, that I, Nia Glyn Parry, do take thee, do take thee, William John Oliver, William John Oliver, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold. To have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death as do part till death as do part according to God's holy ordinance according to God's holy ordinance and there too and there too, I plight thee, I plight thee, my joy, my joy.
What better place to end a lovely wedding than here in the romantic setting of Port Marion, which William and Nia have chosen for their wedding reception? So Sandra, what have you thought of today? Oh, it's just fabulous. It's just uh, more than what we ever thought, you know. I mean, we always thought it would be a great day, no matter when they started off saying they were just going to have a small wedding and everything, you know. We thought it would be fabulous, but I mean, it's just, oh, it's just brilliant. Oh, she looked radiant, I think. She looked lovely, didn't she, Rich? Oh, yes. Smashing, That, that yes. dress was really something yes. special, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not an expert on fashion, but you know, you could, you could say that that dress was something special. Yeah. yeah. I think I'll probably remember her coming down the stairs uh, William. forever. Ah, uh, at our just, home. At your home. home. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah, she looked. Can you beautiful. remember what was going through your mind at that moment? Oh, well, I felt like crying then, but I sort of steeled myself <laughs> 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 until the last moment at the reception. I couldn't. <laughs> but she did look special, didn't yes. she? Yes. So do you it think it's lovely. been worth all the effort and all the travelling to and fro, fro from London? Definitely, I think. Oh, yes. You know, yeah. I think she'd have looked nice in a wedding dress, but not as fantastic as she did this morning. She was really lovely. No, it got calmer as the day went by until the last minute and it started getting butterflies in. So now at the end of it, and you think back to the beginning of it, yes. uh, what, what are you thinking of? Are you in a haze yeah. or what? It's, it's, it's like a dream and um, I wish we could go through it all slowly again and <laughs> enjoy it a bit more. <laughs> Were you nervous? Yes, it was a bit. William, what did you think when you saw oh, Nia coming down that aisle? It's just beautiful. Yes. <laughs> it's stunning. The dress is absolutely stunning on oh, you. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. It's the best thing I've ever put on. This is just what you imagine. It's ju it just happens to one girl once in a blue moon, and I can't believe it's been me. It's been brilliant.